Hello. All right, just fixing myself. I have a topic here today that was, um, I said, I asked for suggested topics in my group, Women Creating Healthy Lives. So if you're not in that Facebook group for women over 40, come and join us there. That's Women Creating Healthy Lives. And this topic is about um, kind of like self-compassion, not being so hard on yourself. And I don't talk about this that often, but it's so very important. And I definitely cover it in my, in my programs because... I find that so many women, hi Janice, um, it's a hard time. It's a hard time enough going through this midlife phase, whether you're in the middle of it, finished it or whatever. It is a hard time. And, and especially with all that we're dealing with right now, there are times when we feel like everything is just too much. And when you're going through the perimenopause phase of it, and you have a lot of the symptoms. I mean, you have a lot of stress, a lot of overwhelm. It's hard for you to handle those things in your life. Then you can be too hard on yourself, right? We can be like, why can't I just do this? Why can't I just do that? Why do I always do this? Why don't I do that, right? Beating ourselves up. Because we're not doing enough. Often, often, it's very rarely that we're mad at ourselves for not doing, like for, that we should take some time off. But that's also a thing we need to discover, right? Or maybe because you tend to be the emotional eater or the stress eater or you're a people pleaser, right? You're a people pleaser and you tend to do too much for other people. And then you beat yourself up about it. So there's so much that goes on. Women are really hard on themselves. Um, usually guys are very cut and dry or black and white and are able to say, no, I'm doing this for me and I don't care, right? They're just able to do that. But we were not raised that way. We were raised that to be a nice girl, to be a nice girl, to be a good wife, to be a good mother, all of these things, we must, right? So all these conditions. So just remember that you have a lot of years, a lot of years of conditioning and believing that you maybe should be this way, or I should have been this this way, or I should have said this, or I should have done that. Gotta stop all that. Gotta stop it. That doesn't get us on the right path at all. It may get you back on the right track for a little bit, but what's gonna happen is you're going to give up again. So if you are denying yourself something, so if you have, if your life is really busy, really crazy, you do so much for others, you're always giving out your energy, you're always giving out your energy, and you're not really taking time to fill yourself up, then you're going to have this sense of, this is too hard, I'm stressed, I'm overwhelmed, I do too much, yet I can't take time off, I can't do this for myself. Or if you try to do something for yourself, you're going to feel guilty about it. So then you beat yourself up for that. So you're beating yourself up for not doing something. You're beating yourself up maybe because you did something and maybe it wasn't the right thing to do or it wasn't enough. And you're beating yourself up because you feel you can't make change. Why can't I change? Why don't I just say something? Why don't I get out of this? Why am I still doing this? Why, are, why is this still happening to me? <laughs> right? And as women, lots of women, we overthink. So it can be crazy. But what I want to say too is, is this is, can be kind of natural, right? And especially if we're hanging around with a group of women or there's women in your life who have followed these patterns and sometimes it's our family. We've seen these patterns growing up. Our relatives, our family, our sisters, whatever, still do these things and talk about these things. It is very common for women to always feel like they're not doing enough, not good enough, um, and when they start to put themselves as a priority, they feel guilty and terrible and like they're being a bad person. So first of all, let's just realize all this is going on in the background, right? Let's just take a breath and realize, wow, wow, no wonder. This is crazy, right? So we got to stop. I should have, I should, I wish, oh my God, I can't. All of those things. That is your mind. And often it's keeping itself so busy and caught up because when it's like that, you don't actually make changes, right? We don't actually make lasting changes if we're caught up in the overwhelm, in the stress, in just surviving, in doing everything for everybody else. We don't make any changes. So note that that's just what goes on. 
Now, do you want to change things, right? Do you want to change things? The self-love thing, when a person loves themselves so much unconditionally, kind of lets go of the shoulds, the coulds, the would haves, the wish I did all that, you will take better care of yourself. You will. Automatically, you will eat better. You will exercise, move your body in a way that feels good for you. You will be more at peace. You will have more joy and you will be able to help others and your whole life will change and feel so much more amazing, right? When you love and care about yourself and drop the drama that goes on up here, you will begin to take care of yourself. So we also got to realize that we do, <laughs> hi, Stephanie, we do this to ourselves, but yes, we do this to ourselves, but stop feeling bad about it, right? Stop it. Stop apologizing. Stop feeling bad about what you've done, what you should have done, what you need to do more of, what you haven't done enough of, all of that stuff, right? And just take a deep breath. And the best thing you can start to do is give yourself time out of your head, out of the craziness in your head. And that can even be five minutes a day sitting and just breathing, connecting to your heart, allowing there to be peace, right? Allowing that feeling of peace. And you can even do some breathing and imagine like the beautiful loving earth's energy coming in and filling you up, filling you up. Because so much of the day and time you're giving out your energy. You're giving it out, but you're not taking any in, as in any good, love, expansive, um, beautiful, white light energy. You're not bringing that in because you're not consciously doing it. So you're not going to fill yourself up. Very rare people can have like spa days every day where they can fill up their cup, right? That just doesn't happen. So it's your responsibility to go, okay, where can I put in, not where do I have time, Okay, where am I going to put in these five minutes or whatever every single day where I can sit in peace, sit in um, and work on like imagining and intending to fill yourself up with this beautiful, energizing white light from the universe, right? Like life force energy. Your life force energy is being depleted by other people, by other things, by the jobs you've got to do, by how much you've committed yourself. So yes, we can be hard on ourselves about all of those things. But what happens is you try to say, I can't change it. So here's how you can begin to make changes is by just taking five minutes maybe and just sitting and not allowing the mind chatter, connecting to your heart, doing some breathing, um, imagining white light coming down through your body and illuminating and energizing every cell in your body right with light with beautiful healing energy allowing that beautiful white universal energy life force energy just by intending to be surrounded by this beautiful life force energy filling you up energizing you that is what it does hi tammy but when we don't consciously do that it's too much giving out it's too much in hair it's too much blaming ourselves being hard on ourselves right about what you haven't done, what you should be doing, what you did too much of, on and on and on. So it's time to let that go. And that's not a simple trick, simple thing, right? But you got to start somewhere. So just think about all the times and be conscious, right? Oh my God, look at how I'm talking to myself today, right? Listen to how I'm talking to myself. I choose not to do that. I choose not to do that. Then you connect your breath, you connect to yourself, take some, take some deep breaths. <sighs> Everything's okay. And stop trying to figure out everything, right? That's another thing. We're hard on ourselves because you, you say that you can't figure out how to change. I don't know how to change. I should have changed. I should know what I'm doing. I should know this better. Right, all of this should, all of this, all of this stuff that goes on, let it go. Hear it, be aware that you're doing it. 
and just breathe through it, right? Wow, listen to what I'm saying to myself. Wow, listen how I'm judging myself, right? And you could also go into, oh, the when the inner child has taken over your life, is running the show, is keeping you in drama, is keeping you in these crazy thoughts in your head, right? It's because you haven't allowed time or you haven't been as conscious throughout your day to take a break from this and to bring it back to this. And that's how easy it can be. You don't have to learn how to love yourself right away. You don't have to know what changes you're going to make in your life right now. You don't have to leave your job right now. You don't have to even say no to somebody right now. All you have to do is give yourself time every day, even five minutes in the morning, five minutes at night, of just being in peace within yourself, right? That's going to make a big difference. And that's what so many people are not doing. They're not filling their cup back up. They're not allowing themselves to experience any kind of peace, waiting until. When this is over, maybe I'll have time for myself. You know, all of that type of thing. Oh my God, so for the next two weeks, I'm super busy. So I'm going to be super busy. I'm not going to have time to do anything, right? All these things we say to ourselves. And then you're completely depleted. It doesn't take long each day to spend a couple minutes breathing. You can, you can look at meditations for replenishing life force energy or balancing your chakras if you want to follow something on YouTube, right? Just take that time every day to just breathe, connect yourself, find some peace within yourself without people around you, without things around you. Twice a day, first thing in the morning before you go to bed. Just start with that. Just let the self-talk go, the beating yourself up, the expectations, all of it go. That's how you can just begin right now. Right now. Right? When you begin to change your self-thought and be more conscious of what you're saying to yourself and choose not to judge yourself and be okay with whatever's going on in your life and however you are right now as you are, but yet deciding, hmm, interesting, I've been like this for a long time. It has, it's not feeling good. It hasn't helped me. So now I'm going to choose to change it. You don't have to figure out how you're going to change it at all. So let yourself off the hook because that'll take you in your mind. How am I going to? Nope. Just start giving yourself time. Little blocks of time. To just be. Right? And if you have more time in the evenings, instead of watching TV or binging Netflix, you could read a book. You could take up jewelry making. You could do a coloring book, right? Something where you get out of this and you're just able to sit in the peace that's in within you. Breathe. Imagine life force energy entering you and filling yourself back up again. Like, I'm going to fill myself back up again with beautiful love and light, beautiful energy. Allow that in and I'm going to breathe out the heaviness of the day other people's energy, all of that, because that's what bogs you down too. And when you're focusing on the breath, the body, allowing in beautiful energy, letting go of energy and heaviness, then you go from here and into your heart and into your body, and you begin to feel so much better. And when you don't let yourself beat yourself up, when you notice you are and you forgive yourself and you love yourself anyways, right? That's how you bring yourself back to self-love. And when you begin to love yourself more and give yourself time for peace, good feelings, doing something you love, when you do give that to yourself, you will love yourself more and you will want to take care of yourself more, better. The more you're fighting against yourself, that's when you are not good to yourself. So you could also ask, what am I fighting myself about? What am I fighting against? What am I fighting against myself? You know, there's reasons why you're beating yourself up. Why am I fighting myself? Can I let it go? 
Can I just breathe in this moment? Can I find peace in this moment? <sighs> you know, even if you count your breath, right? Inhale for four, exhale for six. Inhale for four, exhale for six. Keep your mind on your body, your breath, counting something that gets you out of this craziness, right? Every, and don't beat yourself up. This phase of life and beyond, whatever, every, what everybody's dealing with, even younger people right now, we're dealing with a lot of stuff. We don't need to beat ourselves up at all. That's a habit, a pattern, and it's probably something you learned from somebody or from your environment growing up. You don't need to continue it. It's not your stuff. You don't have to be that way. You can start by just starting to love yourself for five minutes. <laughs> be with yourself for five minutes take some deep breaths and just be in a state of peace right within yourself find that state of peace and if you don't find that first time you do this that's okay because it takes practice just imagine how many years you've been in a state of overwhelm nervous um your nervous system fired right up your stress out of control right probably a lot of years so it takes a while for you to train your heart and your nervous system to calm down and the best way to do that is with your breath. You can breathe heavy out to release the energy and then begin to slow down your breath. And as you have more of a slower regulated breath that regulates your heart rate and it calms your nervous system, then you begin to feel more at peace. All right. I hope that helped. I hope that made sense. Thank you for um, the women that suggested this as a topic. I hope that helped. I know it may be different than what you were expecting. But really, there is no secret and best way to begin to love yourself more or to have more compassion for yourself. It comes from slowing things down and having your moments of peace and connecting to yourself and releasing the excess energy that doesn't serve you and breathing in and allowing in more love, light and life force energy within yourself because you cannot build yourself up when you're fully depleted. It's not going to happen, right? So notice, am I so depleted of energy? That's why you feel like you're always beating yourself up and you're never um, feeling really good about yourself because you're so depleted, right? So it's time to fill up your cup. Remember that. All right. I hope this helped. <laughs> um, let me know any comments or anything below. Also, let me know if you've watched the replay. Okay. That's my message for you today. Have an absolutely amazing evening. Oh, I want to be doing a, my six-week program, Midlife Reset, where we do stuff like this too. Talk about stuff like this. And that is starting about October 11th. And their um, sale price right now is $4.97. It's a six-week program. I will be posting more about that or message me if you wish to speak to me more about that program or maybe one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, all right. So much love to you guys. Have an absolutely amazing night. Okay. Bye-bye.